Hi, I'm Kevin Spundy, and today we're going to be looking at the Dark Glass Exponent 500 bass amp. So this is a gigging amp. I want to be very clear on that. It's not just a tool for studio bass players, even though it is also great for that. It's an amp meant to be played live. One of my bass buddies always says that he never goes to any gig with anything less than 500 watts. So this amp is capable of driving a medium-sized cab setup, like a forum 4x10 or a couple 1x12 cabinets, in a small, medium, or large room. Besides working as just a regular amp, the main feature of the E500 is the built-in effects processing. You have preamps, EQs, compressor, chorus, flanger, filter, reverbs, delays, drives, plus the amp and cab sims. You can change which preset you're on through the app or with a MIDI controller. Cool thing too is how you actually set up the signal chain. You can actually set up your effects and amp sims before or after the send and return on the amp or run them pre or post DI out. Also on a per channel basis, you can change the levels of the DI or headphone or main outputs. This might come in handy in certain venues or rooms where you could have a patch that is just way too loud or boomy, and instead of messing around with your playing or adjusting the amp or even messing with the effects levels, you can actually just turn down the DI level for that patch. So if I were to use this amp live, I'd probably set it up with a clean channel, then a distorted channel, then like a chorus channel, then a maybe a really aggressive distorted channel, and then maybe the fifth channel I'd make like a filter type effect. So let's check some of those sounds out, and we're also going to flip through some of the different cab IRs as well. <laughs> So I'm a cover band bassist, I play in two different bands, and I get out probably about four times a month, just a variety of different stuff. So you have a lot of really, really good sounds you can get out of this amp, and with the different presets you can select live, it's just awesome. With all the different presets you can make and save, it's absolutely enough for me, and I think you're going to love it too. Next I'm going to flip through some of the artist preset IRs on my clean channel so you can hear how they sound. <laughs> Next we're going to look at how to set up and save a patch in the app and we'll go over some different effects choices and maybe where to put them in the signal chain. So where I would start off is probably with the suppressor. Um, I like that. It holds uh, some of your, your extra noise and stuff out of there. Pulls it out I should say. And then next I like to put a compressor. 
in there. Um, and this is how I'd probably set up an actual pedal board. I'd put my dynamics and stuff first. And after that, I might set uh, some sort of EQ. Um, I do like the Dark Class graphic EQ is pretty nifty. And it's a lot like the other EQs that actually are on their pedals and on their amps. Uh, and the next I would put, you know, let's do a overdrive effect like a B3K on there. And then we'll also do a, maybe a chorus tone next. And then after that, I would load, um, they have my favorite EQ on here is the amp EQ. Here it is, there we go, load. And then after that, I'd probably do the the cabism is what they call it, or cabsim, I should say, cabism. Game and read. So cabsim after that, and then you have your signal chain. So the cool thing about this is when you load it all up, it actually shows you uh, where you're at with your uh, CPU load. So you can tell if you're running out of space as far as how much power the amp has to drive effects. It'll tell you there. And then once you actually get into the different effects, you can edit them uh, like they're an actual pedal. So you drag and move things around. You can turn them on and off with the button. So pretty nifty, pretty powerful. And like I was saying before too, at the beginning of the video, you can actually move your pedals uh, before and after your main outs or your send and return uh, or your DI out. So let's say if you had um, your cab sim there and you wanted to run the cab sim after the DI, uh, but you know, before your main out, you could do that. So you don't have the cab sim coming, um, or I should say before the DI, but after your main out, then you can have your, your cab sim is not gonna go through your actual amp, but it'll still be going to the front house. So kind of cool stuff like that. Fun to mess around with for sure. This is a really powerful amp for studio work and live use. Uh, one of the things I'm looking forward to the most in the future is new features can actually come out through firmware updates. So really nifty uh, to get and then keep up to date with. So that's it. If you have any questions about the Dark Glass Exponent 500, give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call and don't forget to visit sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.